We're going to continue uh, talking about combinatorics by now talking about ordered samples. And so what I mean by sample is many counting problems can be reduced to the following question. How many ways are there to collect a sample of R elements from a universe of called omega of n elements? Our answer is going to depend on whether these samples are ordered and whether they allow for replacement, also called repetition, of the elements. Um, so this first set of slides is going to deal with ordered samples, and then we'll talk about unordered samples. Uh, first, we're going to count the ordered samples of R elements from a set omega with n elements when the elements can be replaced or repeated. And so the way we're going to do this is rather than just write down the formula to start, we're going to do an example and see if we can figure out the formula from there. So we're going to enumerate how to count how many samples of size 2 can be taken from the universe A, B, C, D if we allow the elements to be repeated. And what we're going to do is we're just going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, we're just going to write down all of those elements. All right, so I need to take two elements from A, B, C, D, and I can repeat them. So why not just start with A, A? All right, well then, maybe we'll also have A, B. Maybe we'll also have a C, and maybe we'll also have a D, right? Uh, so remember I said that when you're going to enumerate, you should do it systematically, right? I wouldn't just write down C, A, D, B, uh, B, A. I, I want to have a pattern to the way I enumerate, and so I'm going to start with having the A out front, and that gives me A in the second, uh, B in the second, C in the second, and D in the second. Um, since elements can be repeated, A, A is a valid element of the set that I'm trying to enumerate. Uh, so that's all of the options when A is my first element. Uh, so I'm going to let B be my first element. And then my choices are A for my second element, B for my second element, C for my second element, and D for my second element. And I can choose C and D to be my first element. If I choose C to be my first element, that gives me A, B, C again, and D is my second element. And if I choose D for my first element, I get A, B, C, D. So there it is, that's all of the size two samples of, from the universe A, B, C, D. Uh, and we can see, just by counting how many of them there are, but we can also notice that I had four choices. This is just like what we did in the last one. I've got four choices for my first object. I can pick A, B, C, or D. And then I've also got four choices for my second object, A, B, C, or D. So the idea is I have four options times four options. I have to pick a first one and I have to pick a second one. And so the fundamental counting principle, uh, the product rule, gives me that I have 16 of these in total. All right, so let's ask ourselves, where did the four come from? Well, the four came from the fact that I have four elements in my set. How many fours did I multiply? Well, I multiplied two fours because that's how big my sample was. So this kind of suggests that the number of samples is four squared. Uh, in general, we're gonna see that the number of ordered samples with replacement of size r from a universe with n elements is n to the r. Uh, there's a couple different ways to contextualize these mathematically, what, what these represent. Um, they're finite sequences. Since the order matters, that makes them a sequence. Uh, there's only r elements in the sequence, so it's finite, and there's n to the r of those. Uh, I should be highlighting, right? Finite sequences. I like the bright yellow better. And there's n to the r of those. Uh, in linguistics and formal languages, we also call these samples words from the alphabet omega. Um, so in theoretical computer science, you start to think about what a computer language truly is, and formal languages is uh, the branch of computer science where you do that. So this is similar to our example from last time. Uh, an urn has four marbles, two are red, one is yellow, one is blue, and the red ones are distinguishable. How many ways are there to draw three marbles with replacement? So the last example, the 
uh, replacement was not allowed, right? We didn't put the marbles back after we drew one. Um, this time we are gonna put the marbles back. So one way to think about this using the multiplication principle is that I have to take three marbles. This is pretty much identical to what we did last time, right? I have to take three marbles, so I'm gonna be multiplying. I have four choices for my first marble, four, four choices for my second marble, and four choices for my third marble because I'm putting the marbles back. All right, so that's gonna be four cubed, which is exactly n to the r. So rather than have to write out this multiplication, which was honestly not that bad, uh, I can just jump straight to the four to the third because I know that's how many ordered samples with replacement there are. How many five letter words, including nonsense words, can be made from our lowercase alphabet, A, B, C, D, et cetera, Z? Uh, when I say including nonsense words, what do I mean by that? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna care about whether or not the word means something, right? I'm just caring about combinations of letters. Uh, and so we already decided that an ordered sample with replacement is exactly a word from an alphabet. Uh, so how many letters does this alphabet have? This is omega. N, which is the size of omega, is 26. R, which is the size of the sample, is five, right? So the ordered samples with replacement are, there's into the R of them, it's 26 to the five. And I happen to know off the top of my head that 26 to the five is 11 million. 881,376. That's just some quick multiplication you can do off to the margin if you if you don't believe me. Um, it was a joke in case it wasn't obvious. I don't know how well sarcasm comes through on a slideshow. Anyway, uh, into the R will get you there. Also, you can use the fundamental counting principle to verify your answer. There's 26 choices for the first letter, 26 choices for the second, 26 for the third, 26 for the fourth, and 26 for the fifth. And there's 26 to the five again.